All right, so we're here today at a band shoot testing out the Rode Link, the Filmmaker's Wireless Kit. It comes with a receiver and a transmitter. So this receiver is what's gonna actually connect to the top of the camera. And then this is gonna be the body pack that's gonna go back here. I'm actually wearing one right now. It's going directly into a Mark III. It also comes with a lav mic, which I have on right now. Let's get this thing fired up. I'll show you, it's really simple how to use. It almost actually makes it easy so you don't have to be technical. You, you almost can't mess it up. This is the transmitter. You could tell by TX here. This is super lightweight, so this is your body pack. That makes me happy too, because the weight's a big deal and it could bother some people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our microphone. We're gonna screw this eighth inch jack on and you're already set. And then we have a windscreen that goes on this too as well. And if you have a very, very windy situation, you got this guy right here. And then this is your receiver, which is actually connecting to your camera itself. And with this, you are going to plug into here, right? You can actually screw it and lock it in so it won't pop out, which is a really nice feature here. Literally, all you need to do is just turn these two buttons on, hold them, and then they actually start talking to each other and they find the right frequency. So we're waiting for that. Yep, we stop the blink. We look like we're locked in. And basically what happens now is that it's in what's called dual diversity mode. So it's actually constantly sending out um, more than one signal, probably two signals, finding the strongest signal, and it's gonna be switching back and forth so fast that we won't even be able to tell, but it'll ensure that you have a strong signal. From what I understand, these can go about 300 feet apart, which is really good. This is what's gonna to connect to your camera, and you can see there's a cold tube mount here, so you'd attach that right to the top of the camera. So let's, let's do that and uh, get this thing fired up. So basically what I do is I put this in manual, and then I bring the setting all the way down to the bottom in one click, maybe one or two clicks to the right. Uh, but pretty much all the way down. And what's cool too is there's a display here so you can actually monitor it here. I'm relying on this thing basically as a run and gun and it's gonna do all the work for me. And uh, based on the meters so far, it looks like we're, we're definitely in the right zone. So I can't wait to hear this back myself. Um, but anyway, we're, we're set here and we're ready to roll.